What's up guys, Paul from Golfers Authority. Today we're at the beautiful Portobello Golf Course in Sun City, Arizona. We're gonna try to learn the mid chip? Medium chip. Medium chip. Between the short chip and the long chip. We're pretty good. Some of the things we want to learn from this shot, you know, we don't want to make a huge motion. We want to create a little bit more power, but not much. The more we get bigger with our motion, the more we open ourselves up for air. Right now, Paul is using a U wedge, right around a 52 degree wedge. And so you can see he's having to take a bigger motion. One of the things we can adjust for the longer chip, instead of making a bigger motion with the same club as our short chip, we can just change clubs. And so from a 52 degree wedge, we're going to go to more like a 48 degree wedge which is about a pitching wedge. And we're not gonna make very many adjustments there. We're just gonna switch clubs because we don't want the bigger motion unless we absolutely have to. Big motions lead to more errors. All right, so now we're gonna make a similar motion to our short chip. We're just gonna use a pitching wedge. We're gonna add a couple little things to increase the power, but not much. That's ideal right there. You can see that ball rolling out. Once we start to need a little more power with the chipping, we're just gonna rotate our hips just a hair like that to get our power. We don't want to create power by doing it with our arms. We're going to just rotate our hips just a little bit to create the power. And that's the biggest difference between the short chip and the medium chip is we start to rotate our hips a little bit as we do in the full swing. So Paul's going to be landing somewhere over here. We're going to have it roll up to the, to the hole. What's uphill? It's okay. okay. We can always adjust our landing spot as we're hitting shots. All right, so first things first, we need to aim our club face to our landing spot. So right now you're aiming over there. Is that where we'd like that ball to go? No, so that's our first step to success. Always start square and lofted, just like the short chip. Then we're gonna go D-loft, little step forward and lean. Make sure the leading edge is not shut or exposed because it'll dig. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, something we really need to emphasize here is when you're setting up to this golf shot, and this is something that's very difficult for people, don't aim at the hole. Aim at the landing spot. The landing spot is the most important part. And so we're going to really try to get Paul dialed in on the landing spot. You probably noticed in some of the earlier shots, he was aiming more at the hole. Well, when the green's sloping like this, you can't expect the ball to be by the hole. Our landing spot is the other flag. It's going to be very close to that. Maybe just a, a foot left, but we're using that as, as, as our visual somewhere in that general area. And so we're going to try our best. When Paul comes in here, we're going to get that club face starting at the landing spot. And you'll notice big time difference between earlier and now where he's aiming. And so we'll have to add some, some of the same things we added earlier, is we have to aim our club face square and lofted at our target. Club face square. Deal off slightly. Go stand over by the handle. And as we're making our motion, we're maintaining the shaft angle and staying in posture. Okay? Much better, much better. Square and lofted, excellent. Right at our landing spot. Now maintain the shaft angle and stay in posture. You notice now that we have him more square and lofted and we have him maintaining the shaft angle and staying in posture, we're not getting the firm hard bounces anymore. Two in a row, repeated perfectly. That's when you know you're doing something right. And he's taking his time, going through the routine. From, from here to here, very light on the tension level. The power's coming from here now. We don't need to be strong in our hands and our arms. Paul, you can tell he's used to taking a bigger motion. We don't want that bigger motion. Bigger motion causes us to decelerate. Here, we just need a shorter motion. We created more power by using pitching wedge and by rotating our body a little bit. There, 
ball student to start getting it dialed in, you'll see him get better and better with every stroke now. Because he's shorter, he's using a pitching wedge, and he's creating power the right way.